Overthinking. This is the art of taking a relatively small situation and blowing it up way bigger than it needs to be. For example, do I buy my fish organic fish flakes or premium? What if he doesn't like the premium ones? He'll think I don't care about him. Is he vegan? Just tell me what you want, you dumb fish. <laughs> Example two. <sighs> hey, babe. Hi. Did she just say hi? Hi? You didn't call me babe back. Oh, uh, sorry, babe. I was just... What did I do? Uh, what? Are you breaking up with me? Babe, what? I was just... No. Haven't you said enough? I'm leaving! And I'm taking the fish! Overthinking comes in many different forms, and I'm sure you've been a victim of this at some point. If you're taking a test and you change your answer from A to B seven times, you're overthinking it. If you've been wanting to message an old friend but haven't yet because you've been trying to craft the perfect text message, you're probably overthinking it. If you can't decide between picking Kirby or Mr. Game & Watch and you got everyone waiting on your ass, just... just fucking pick! <laughs> You're overthinking. Why does this happen though? You're probably wondering, but probably not. Well, Science VTunes is here to explain. Everyone has an intuition, right? The ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning. Have you ever been stuck making a decision and somebody says, Go with your gut. Your gut is basically your intuition speaking to you. Now, obviously, your gut doesn't actually think. That'd be weird gut thoughts. But it does symbolize that your intuitive thoughts aren't coming from your conscious mind, but your subconscious mind. This is why it feels like your brain is freaking arguing with itself sometimes. Your subconscious mind is trying to give you answers to your problems. It's A, you idiot. Mm, but what if it's B? N no, I, I just said it's A. Listen to me, you fool. <sighs> Damn, it was A. This is just one form of overthinking though. Like earlier in example 2, I overthink people's tones a lot, so if you're speaking to me in a slightly different tone than usual, I'll probably just think you're mad at me, and I'll have to go down the list of reasons of why you hate me right now. All because you said, hey, instead of, hey. But the thing that I overthink the most is probably my entire existence. <laughs> Now, hold on. <laughs> I'm serious, though. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and just go, Huh. What am I doing here, exactly? Why am I a human and not, like, a cockroach or something? Someday I and everyone I love will be dead, and we'll all just be forgotten as we're just a sliver of time in the infinite universe. <laughs> What are you looking at? This is called an existential crisis. You've probably heard of it. It's basically the moment you realize that life itself probably has no meaning and everything is just chance. We're all just on a giant ball hurtling through space with no destination. Ah! This started at a pretty young age for me too. I remember being 12 and thinking, there really is no point to anything, is there? All of this crap about going to college and finding your true love and having kids. It doesn't mean shit, does it? The world will continue spinning with or without me here. So, why am I here? I was 12! <laughs> Ever since that day, it's kind of been a daily thought pattern for me, and also found out that it might be linked with depression, but I'm just gonna slide that under the carpet for now, because, uh, yeah, there we go, that's better. Now I know what you're saying, but also probably not. Tony, do you really think that life is completely pointless? If so, why don't you go jump off that cliff? <laughs> no. Listen, I do believe that life on Earth has a meaning. Experience. You see, every day you're making decisions, and those decisions determine where your life is headed and what you'll experience next. This is why overthinking is such a problem, because we fear regret. Time is only going forward as far as we know, and when you make a decision, you can't go back. You don't want to regret that you could have experience something else, something better. We hate the thought of being old and looking back and regretting that we didn't experience certain things in life. So how do you get over the fear of regret? Well, if the only real meaning to all of this is just for us to experience things as a person, then what do you want to do? You have the free will to create the meaning. So whatever it is you want to do, Go give it your best shot. I mean, all we can really do is try anyways. And if you completely fail, knowing that you gave it your all feels much better than not trying in the first place. Life isn't supposed to be stressful. It's kind of simple, actually. Take care of your body, be responsible for your problems, 
Find your passion, make goals for yourself, work hard, be kind. That's that's basically it, okay? We're just here to be human. So whenever it feels like you're drowning in the pressure of everything in life, just remember, you're only human. Nothing here really matters because everything will be gone someday. And it'll all be okay. Wow, that got way too real. Um, well... Alright, bye.